CDC says three out of four sexual assaults of women are not reported. And so there was outrage several years ago when Pennsylvania's Auditor General found a backlog of more than 3,000 unprocessed rape kits, some of them dating back more than 20 years. But Rick Dayton reports those numbers are rapidly improving. 2016 audit by Deepa Squally's office found the number of backlog rape kits in Pennsylvania exceeded 3,200. At the start of 2020, the number was sliced to 94. There's always going to be a victim or two, maybe more, um, for whatever reasons they choose, don't want to uh, have that kit tested. Victims are, are traumatized. Um, you know, some can be in shock over what happened. Um, so decisions they make that, that night may be very different um, than what they decide in a week. The Auditor General continues to push for a statewide tracking system. Allow victims to see at any given time exactly where in the process their rape kit is. A state unified system would be really, really helpful, yes. Um, for, I mean, to the point of at least there's a one repository and one keeper of all of this data. De Pasquale says there's another advantage. Rapists don't just stay within one state, they travel all over. So getting that kit tested also allows it to put it into the FBI database. We should want those individuals held responsible. Otherwise, that, that abuse is just going to continue with more and more victims. So um, I applaud those victims who, who come forward, who, who can do that, because it's a pretty lonely place. Even though this is what he calls significant progress, the Auditor General vows to keep shining a light on the issue until the backlog number is as close to zero as possible. Rick Dayton, KDKA News.